In Truth Hurts News, submitted by Secret Cabinet, Lizzo wants a judge to decide that she didn't plagiarize her major breakout hit, Truth Hurts. There she's getting accused of- Who? Lizzo. Lizzo. Oh, it's- So this is Lizzo. She's accused of plagiarizing her. it? Yeah, she's being accused by, uh, by these two men. What? For plagiarizing her very popular hit, Truth Hurts. And so they are claiming that, oh, so they did, they, re, they did a demo. But the lyrics sound like it's written by her. Like I took a DNA test and. Oh, that's actually the exact lyric that we're focusing on. Whoa. This so. And she's a hundred percent. That, that bitch. bitch. Yeah. yeah, that part. So here's the story. I'm like, these two guys two, wrote that? These two songwriters named Justin and Jeremiah, Jeremiah they came forward uh, to publicly claim that that song borrows parts of the melody from this demo that they recorded with Lizzo back in April 2017 called Healthy. And they said, quote, we've tried to sort this out quietly for the last two years, only asking for 5% each, but we're shut down every time. So what they ended up doing is they came out with this clip of the comparison and I will show it to you. Uh -oh. Shit. Oh my god. That... Oh yeah, I'd say more than 5%. Yeah. That's a 50-50. Yeah, she's right that, dude. That she's is, it's over. Oh that is clearly taken by the original. Hold on. Why wouldn't she fucking cover her bases? Well, hold on. Uh, might be the record label. Well, hold on. Tip, I'm trying to prejudge everything. Well, we just let speculation me. is a part of JK News. We gotta do yes, it. Yes, of course. How am I gonna dig holes for myself if you're trying to stop me from doing it? Yeah, taking my shovel. I about you, and I want you guys to not dig holes. Mm. So here we go. Jeez. So that song, Healthy, uh, which was back in 2017, so Lizzo came out saying this. It sounds totally different to me. <laughs> oh my god, like fucking, what's his name? Vanilla Ice with Queen? Oh yeah. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Mine goes, dun 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 No, I'll read it. Okay. So she posted, hey y'all, as I've shared before, in 2017 while working on a demo, I saw a meme that resonated with me. A meme that made me feel like 100% that bitch. I sang that line in the demo and I later used the line in Truth Hurts. The men who now claim a piece of truth hurts did not help did not help me write any part of that song. They had nothing to do with the line or how I chose to sing it. There was no one in the room when I wrote Truth Hurts except me, Ricky Reed, and my tears. That song is my life and its words are my truth. I later learned that a tweet inspired the meme. The creator of the tweet is the person I am sharing my success with not these men, period. Thank you to everyone who has supported me and my song XOXO. So this is the, the tweet that she was talking about. So this other songwriter called Mina Lioness, she tweeted this out in February of 2017. I did a DNA test and found out I'm 100% that bitch. So Lizzo saying that she saw, she came across a meme that used this tweet. So she never uh, knew that, she had never seen that tweet, which she points out in this other tweet. She says, Truth Hurts was written in June, FYI. Someone made a meme on IG that said, I'm 100% that bitch, and we were inspired. I gave that meme credit when I talked about making the song. I've never seen your viral tweet, but I'm glad it exists. So now the bottom line is, she has agreed to give credit to this oh. uh, songwriter for that lyric. And that's the whole So story. that tweet was a, song, was a songwriter that just wrote that? Yeah, she I wrote see. that tweet, she tweeted that out, someone took that, made it into a meme, Lizzo came across it. She saw the meme. This, it got inspired, put that lyric into her song, mm -hmm. she never credited it, or she did mention it, like, oh, I got that from a meme, but she never gave her specific so, credit. So, the original thing that she decided to use that meme on was the song with the two guys. So now the guys are going back and saying, we wrote that, that was our exactly. production. Exactly, And now the guys are trying to come in and say, Hey, where's our 10%? Are the guys saying they wrote it or are they saying that they did the melody? No, well, both both things. Because the like melody it's a production was the same. House. I'm just saying, the melody was the same. Yeah, but she's saying that she she did that melody on her own when she recorded that demo with them. That's what she's claiming. Like the way she said it? Yeah. The 
Like the same way that yeah. she said it in Truth Hurts. Exactly. Yeah. Like that part, she's responsible for, so she claims. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I'm not a lawyer, so I know nothing here. But you sounded really smart. Judge things. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. You. It just kind of sucks that now that she's big and like famous, that come there's people trying to come after. That was my queen. Isn't that part of it, though? It is. Yeah, well, that's, and that's, what's sad, it. And that's what's sad about it. Standard. So Lizzo's attorney uh, said in a statement. Today we filed a lawsuit on Lizzo's behalf to establish in a court of law that the Risens, which are the songwriters, are not writers of Truth Hurts and have no right to profit from the song's success. The Risens did not collaborate with Lizzo or anyone else to create the song and they did not help write any of the material that they now seek to profit from, which is why they expressly renounced any claim to the work and writing months ago as the lawsuit makes abundantly clear. Wow. wow, that's some shady shit. It so is shady. They're trying to they're trying to do some uh, um, dirt. Like, yeah, like so afterwards they're trying to get the public against them because they're they legally win. fucked, but they're trying to publicly. Yeah, but isn't that defamation? Can't they? Can't she sue back? For if it if they could prove that it hurt her business. Oh, true. If that could be proved. Well, it's like those fuckers that uh, went after Michael because they couldn't get money from his estate. Yeah, those fuckers who got diddled by Michael going after Michael. Mm -hmm. uh -uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, they didn't get diddled. No, that's true. He just sucked their dick. Your sides here. Uh, yeah. yeah. So let's let's talk about this. What's uh, <laughs> what's your opinion on the, the? So I think that Michael probably watched children spread their ass cheeks for him. I think that that's pretty likely. <laughs> Do you really think that that didn't happen? <laughs> How about this? Let's just ask this. Do you really think that Michael Jackson never laid in a bed with a kid and said, I want to marry you? <laughs> I'm not taking that bet. That sounds like something he would say. I'm not taking that bet. I want to marry you, little guy. <laughs> but he, oh, I don't think he would mean it romantically or sexually, though. He's probably playing house. Yeah. Come on, man. And he's the mom. He's a grown fucking man, dude. So you don't think it happened? You don't think none of that stuff happened? No, no, no. This is this is the bullshit of like perception. Yeah. Michael Jackson was a grown man, physiologically a grown man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All this shit, like, we had a mind of a child, he should be allowed to sleep with little boys, don't you know? It's the stupidest shit I've ever heard logically in my life. Why? What do you know? You got you fell for the meme, dude. Michael Jackson has the mind of a child because Joe Jackson abused him while he was a kid. So therefore, he tries to stay a, a child. But they call while it the Peter with children, so. and it's totally fine. Well, let's ask this Peter. I wish what I you think? Them? <laughs> What's your position on this? Now I'm curious. I, you know, this one's a tough one because Michael Jackson makes some of the best music. Oh, yep, bro. You know? So the question is, like, can I? I, don't, I think he did it. Like honestly, just because it just it just fucking matches who he like it's just obvious. If Wait, you, you think he fuck kids? Or... Not not to say fuck kids, but I think some of the stuff that he's being accused for, like it's it's obvious. Watching kids spread their ass. But there's inconsistencies in their story. Yeah, they were kids. I just think like a grown. Oh, they were teens hanging out with kids. They're like there's something going on. Like a grown man that prefers it doesn't matter what excuse it is, but a grown man that that prefers. To be around kids all the time, it's just there's something psychologically wrong. Well, like, obviously there's something psychologically wrong because he was never he never had a childhood. I mean, that's the other. You say that's the bullshit. That's the other argument. <laughs> but, 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 but here's the, here's the thing, though. Don't hold fall on, hold on. for this. But shit. that's because we're untrained psychologists, right? What do you say about the uh, the guys that actually study molesters and you. pedophiles, and they all came together to do a study on Michael Jackson to see if he fit the profile based off his lifestyle, based off of the FBI uh, raids, all the evidence that they found, and then they all concluded that- They all there concluded. Is, there, is subscribe very, to this. there is a very, very, extremely low chance of him actually being a pedophile There's because a he doesn't chance. exhibit he doesn't exhibit well, those behaviors. He would only sleep next to children every night. Want me to ruin your want everything. me to ruin your dreams? So I know someone really close to me that uh, works. Uh, for children's services that was like, oh yeah, we've had a couple of his kids, like the files here, and that stuff is true. Michael Jackson? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Look, let me go back to where you're saying. How, come, he, how yeah. come they didn't come out and- uh, Because maybe they were paid off? fucking threatened them, dude. Mark Garagos came out on fucking TV and he's like, you wanna come after Michael, we will fucking end you. Well, here's the thing though. <laughs> Typically, uh, a pedophile or molest <clears throat> molester will have a, roughly around 100 to 200 victims, right? Yeah. So That's with cool. that volume, wow. right? Why is it that it's only three with high inconsistencies? Because, I mean, think about it's R. Kelly. It's not only three. It is. It's only three we know of. And it's Michael Jackson, here's the thing. No, 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 but that's the thing is, why didn't people come out? They did in the 90s and they got fucking- No, they did it. Who yeah, else did. came out? Who else came out besides that's, that's the That's all I'm talking about. In the 90s, and then there was, there was another group in 2012. 
It's the same group though. No, it's not. The yeah. group in 2012 was a different group of kids. And then the and then the the kids from the 90s were asked to defend uh, Michael. No, that's one kid in 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 the in 2000s. No, mul two of them. Two of them from the from the 90s case were asked to defend Michael. Oh, later. the one that made the documentary. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I go back to what you're saying though? Because you're saying that like all these psychologists like studying him, right? But the thing is, like, he wouldn't be a normal pedophile. Exactly. You can't put him in the same cat. But what is a normal pedophile? If normal, you don't whatever a normal you don't pedophile, pedophile is. If you don't study pedophiles, you wouldn't know what a normal he's pedophile is. He's an almost is. billionaire pedophile. But I'm just saying, like, yeah. you can't compare him. Like, you, like, you just can't compare. It's like, it's like, you can't compare but Michael. How are you gonna tell guys that study pedophiles and understand the psychology behind pedophiles that their evidence is irrelevant? Because they don't understand Michael's stardom. They don't understand what it's like to be to that famous, or, or they understand pedophilia. I don't even know if you're. I don't even know if you're studying that correctly. Either I don't know if it's like guess what all psychologists got together and said Michael Jackson's chill. I don't know if it's that open <laughs> shut. Bro. Yeah, it sounds a little like, it's a little weird. No, 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 no. But it's it's a study group that emphasizes uh, uh, pedophilia. Well, the new evidence Gio never brought up. When we talk so much about me, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just got it. She just got it. She just got, got, she just got it. But then the source, the, the source it. is also questionable. It okay. is. <laughs> In my opinion, the source is questionable. Okay. The source is questionable. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. I'm still. I'm and still. It's not I still my have. So she is also. I still uh, have. Oh wait, that's what they would do. Michael Jackson's maid came out and said, "Yo, I saw him naked with kids." Oh. God. And then what did they by do? The way, they discredit her no, no, by no, saying no. that she had a drug charge. Like, no, 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 seven no. Years because ago. it was proven that she was paid, and then that was thrown out of court. That's why. Paid by what? She was paid by a group, uh, a record company that wanted to take over the lights and the licensing, licensing of okay. the music. Licensing. Yeah, and then they proved that, so that that's why they threw out her case. So because they 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 all the people that came out, the witnesses, now his name is tarnished, right? But the thing is, people are going on hearsay, and and the, none of these things fly in court. Have and they ever found kitty porn at his house? No, never. Never. But did never. he ever sleep in beds with kids? With his own family, yes. But with zero no, kitty porn? No, with with. Other That's kids. crazy, though. No, he, he's he's yeah, he's admitted to sleeping with other kids. Yeah, there's yeah. yeah, a lot. I don't know about that. Well, he has fluffy beds. Huh? What are you talking about? Even Macaulay was like, "Yeah, I slept in the same bed with him." But they never had sex. Right, but I'm just saying he would groom his fucking the kids, so he didn't. He would target the right kids. But you know what? We're trying to groom them to subscribe. So if you like That's this true. video, <laughs> yeah, hit the subscribe weird. button. That's true. <laughs>